Ever had trouble with confidence during an interview? Do you want simple and applicable tips to help you become and stay more confident for your next job interview? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, my name is Matt and I'm a job search coach at Elevation Career, helping you to achieve all your career advancement goals through high quality practical training. Confidence is one of the most important aspects of an interview. Not only does it affect your performance, it also has direct implications as to how the employer will view and assess your level of competence. You take two people with similar experience and skill set. The interviewer will almost always believe that the person with more confidence is stronger and better at what he or she does. But of course, it's easier said than done. We've all had experiences when we were nervous and ended up rambling on or saying things that we wish we hadn't. It's because confidence is not something that we can turn on or off at will. Confidence is not something we do. Instead, it is an emotional state. Therefore, if we want more control over our confidence, we need to learn how to change our emotional state and or have the right mindset. Whether it be your interview, an important meeting, a presentation, or even your next date, having confidence, the right level of confidence, will almost always give you much more successful results. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three highly useful tips that you can start using right now to stay calmer and more assured during your next meeting. Number one, remember that the employer already likes you. As I said, confidence comes from having the right mindset. And the right attitude that you need to have as you approach your interview is knowing that the employer already likes you. Do you know what percent, what percentage of job applicants end up getting the first interview? Depending on the study, the figure is around 5 to 15%. This means if you are getting an interview at all, you are already in the top 5 to 15%. The fact that the potential employer will take time out of their busy schedule to meet you is in and of itself a reason to celebrate because no one wants to waste time. If they didn't think that you were qualified or that your background is interesting, they wouldn't invite you in the first place. You need to recognize that the company wants to find the right person as much as you want to find the right job. They already like your and appreciate your background enough to meet you and to get to know you better. They're genuinely hoping that you will pass the interview process and prove to be the person that they're looking for. So be confident. The odds are already in your favor. Number two, preparation. Probably the best and the most effective tip for confidence is preparation. The more prepared you are, the less nervous you will be period. Imagine with me for a moment. You show up for the interview, you introduce yourself, and the employer asks you what you know about their recent business performance and their products and why you want to join them. But then you haven't really done any research on their performance or products and you don't have much to discuss at all. How nervous and embarrassed would you feel? At best, you will only be able to mutter some generic unconvincing answer. And wow, what a confidence killer would that be? Of course, you will not be able to prepare for every single question in advance. That would be impossible. Having said that, there are certain details about the employer that every applicant is expected to know. Also, there are questions that, common questions that come up time and time again, such as, tell me about yourself, what are your weaknesses, why should we hire you, and etc. that you can definitely prepare for. The better prepared you are, and the less you have to come up with answers on the spot under pressure, the easier it would be to maintain a state of composure. Again, the better and more preparation, the more confidence. Number three, do not be affected by the interviewer's reaction. I get this comment from job candidates after interviews all the time. They will tell me that the interview didn't go well because the interviewer didn't seem very engaged or they didn't look very happy or they didn't seem too impressed 
by, by the answers. And I would ask the candidate what they felt about their own answers, and they would tell me that they were quite satisfied. In such a case, I always tell them, do not worry too much about the interviewer's reaction, and let's see what happens. And sure enough, more often than not, the employer will come back with positive feedback. You see, the interviewer's lack of reaction or enthusiasm could be due to any number of reasons. It could be because they're just not very expressive as a person. It could be their interview style, or maybe they're tired, or it could even be because they're nervous about meeting somebody new for the first time. Believe it or not, interviewers get nervous too sometimes. Whatever the reason may be, if you put too much emphasis on the interviewer's reaction during the interview, it can lead to feeling nervous and losing confidence unnecessarily. Of course, ideally, you want to have great rapport with the interviewer. But if not, don't worry about it. Instead, just focus on answering the questions as best as you can according to your preparation without being constantly distracted by the lack of enthusiasm from the interviewer. And next, I have a bonus tip for you guys today, and that is your physical posture. Did you know that your physical posture can affect your emotion? We all know that how we feel influences our body language. For example, when someone is sad or disappointed, we can tell from their posture, such as dropped shoulders, dropped chin, lack of energy in their voice, and etc. When someone is happy or excited, usually they have their chest up like this, stand straighter, and speak faster, and etc. What is not as intuitive, however, is the fact that your posture can influence your emotional state the other way around. I watched this in one of Tony Robbins' videos, but apparently there is a recent Harvard study that demonstrated that simply by standing or sitting up straight like this, you will actually feel happier and more confident. You will also significantly increase the likelihood of completing whatever tasks that you are working on. Also, when you stand or sit with a good straight posture like this, your body releases more testosterone that boosts confidence and the level of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, actually decreases. So all those times that our parents told us to sit up and correct our posture, it wasn't just to make us look more presentable in front of other people. It actually had some tangible scientific benefits. So before you start your interview, I recommend that you take some time to stand or sit up straight with your chest up and take a few deep breaths. You may even want to try smiling as big as you can because if you do this, you'll realize that you actually feel a bit better and happier simply by smiling. And during the interview, remind yourself to sit up and maintain a good straight posture, which will help you stay calmer and more at ease. To recap, here are some practical tips to make sure that you remain confident during your next interview. Number one, remember that they already like you. If you are asked to attend the first interview, you're already in the top 5 to 15 percent. The employer is already interested in your profile and they're desperate to find the right person. The odds are in your favor. Number two, preparation. The more and better prepared you are, the more confidence you will have. Number three, do not be overly concerned about the interviewer's reaction. Do not allow their response to distract you. Instead, focus on giving your best performance. And the bonus tip is, the physical posture. Your physical posture will affect your mood, stress level, and confidence. Remind yourself to maintain a good, straight posture throughout the meeting. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. It would greatly encourage me to keep coming up with useful content and creating videos like this one. Until next time, Elevate your career and elevate your life. See you guys.